This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. So let's talk about this Styles uh, cut here. It's in the torch here that AJ is pretty pissed off. Quote, AJ Styles was upset with Jeff Jarrett because of the cut he received from Jarrett's guitar shot. Although Styles quickly calmed down, wrestlers point out that Jarrett has a history of being reckless with guitar and chair shots. One incident that wrestlers recalled was when Jarrett split open D'Lo Brown's head on a TNA pay-per-view. So I have to admit, I've heard you called everything but your name but I've never heard anyone say that you were reckless and that you were dangerous. In fact, I've heard other famous bald wrestlers with goatees say that <laughs> you were so soft that you could run the ropes and not even break an egg. So this to me is like, wait a minute. What? Um, do you remember AJ in particular being upset that you, uh, cut him open here? Look, kudos to whoever wrote that as far as selling newsletters it makes for a better read but i have been accused like you said of a lot of things but careless is not one of them i've never heard that ever maybe the appearance of reckless and i did that by design like this guy's kind of lost it or gone crazy but i'll say this about aj as a very young man he always had it together he, 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 he's, he's, he's not even a young 20 something year old. He's not a hothead. Would you, uh, see him from time to time? Yep. He'll get really upset and angry, never cuss word, but he, all that. So I'm sure AJ, you know, having to get back in his car and drive back to Atlanta, didn't exactly care, uh, for, a uh, 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 busted open head, but he had all the right in the world to get a little aggravated, a little angry or a lot angry, <clears throat> but it was never one of those things that he came through the curtain looking for a fight. So I don't recall. I'm sure he was upset though. By the way, that bald headed wrestler with a goatee, uh, who maybe people remember a couple of stories we've told here has gone <laughs> on to do just fine. Uh, now, as a matter of fact, he has a television show called the broken skull sessions. And as luck would have it this Friday, you're going to be on that program. So if you've got the WWE network or you got Peacock or what have you, we want you to go out of your way to check out Jeff and stone cold, Steve Austin. Yes. In 2022, having a conversation and, uh, that ought to be kind of fun, man. This Friday, huh? Conrad, have you seen the two Instagram posts that I put up? He's flipping me a bird and I'm yes. flipping him. I don't yes. know if you saw that. Yes. Lots of likes on that. We had a lot of fun. I'll just say that kind of, and I got more coming this week, but that kind of summed up. It was, um, man, when you got, especially the way Steve and, um, you know, he has his notes there. I mean, he literally went from day one when we met late eighties in Texas. So when you talk about all the water under the bridge, it was a blast, a lot of fun, beautiful place he has out West. So flying out to the broken skull session set was really cool. This Friday, uh, it drops number one show outside of their premium stuff, but, uh, he has a highly rated, uh, show chat me up. Uh, I'm just trying to, to piece this together here. Who has better research our team or stone cold, Steve Austin personally for his show. Conrad, see how you are. You just, just asking questions. No, and I, but right, I didn't actually get to put my hands on um, his, his research. research. So uh, that's um, I'm shoot sh shooting blind here. The one thing is he, he Steve covered thirty years, so a lot of top line. We collaborated on a couple of things. Um, it's going to be interesting uh, if it makes the cut. But um, that we were talking about guitar shots, and I said they they had mentioned a few, and I said, oh man. Beetlejuice and Gary Coleman, Th those, those are for some entertaining. So I, they may or may not make it. Um, but I, I'll just say this very candidly, Conrad, the team you have put together research, social media, ad sales, they're second to none, but Derek does an incredibly thorough job. And I get comments when I do the autograph signings, like, Hey man, how the hell does Conrad know? And I go, well, now, wait a minute. <laughs> He's got a researcher too. No, it's uh, Derek and the team do a very, very good job. So uh, our team has 
better research. It's so in depth. It really, really is. Uh, yeah. Well, no disrespect to the Broken Skull team, but <clears throat> our team has the best research. I appreciate that. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.